Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and today we're going to create a mock mock-up. You know, we're going to recreate this stuff. So some of the subscribers uh, put that question some of, somewhere in the comments like uh, for the t-shirt, you know. Uh, I made a t-shirt mock-up and he was asking, hey man, can you recreate it uh, on a mug? You know, to create the, a mock-up out of a mug. And I was like, man, this is a genius. Why it's genius? Because uh, this is a three-dimensional surface, it's rounded and you need to bend, uh, you know, the logo on it. So it's not flat that the previous t-shirt was before. Uh, I selected a nice image from onsplash.com um, and we're gonna do it uh, first. What we're gonna do is like remove these uh, letter forms. I know I, I, I should have been jumping in straight without the letters, all that stuff, but here you're gonna learn how to remove this stuff you know actually so you learn more so as you can see here is this little thing oh my god what's what's this no i don't want to learn more so it's like the patch tool the, this is the patch tool and with li this little tool we can remove all the elements so you're gonna select one of the letters or whatever form is uh on the mog and i just gonna gonna bring it up you know as, as you bring it up uh, basically it's gonna copy and paste this area and as you can see it disappeared it's a smart tool it's a really really smart tool i also can see some of the bad things around here i'm gonna remove those I'm not here and be really careful while you're removing because uh for for right now i copy paste it from here and if if you do that if you do it like that uh you're gonna copy paste a sharp area from here and here you is gonna uh, ba basically gonna view it as like more sharper and it's not correct uh same thing here i'm gonna remove this uh okay and what we're gonna do is like remove every each letter basically you don't need to remove all the letter at once if you're lazy you got you want to try it out to remove all at once or something like that like you know remove like bigger surfaces bigger areas but that not it's not the case because you're gonna ruin the uh, these noises basically because we have a background noise going on here and if you are like copy and pasting and cloning and stuff like that you are ruining this uh, um, noise and it's slowly it's gonna be visible if you zoom out it's still cool it's not that uh, bad still invisible and that's how a good design should be invisible now let me try to copy paste this area this sharper area because we're in a sharper zone and this is the lighter zone as you can see i copied something from here and here it just this is bad i'm gonna copy and paste something like that okay it starts to come together pretty good no drama So what usually you should do the best way is like copy all the time this area if you clone the beat and copy from this area because these areas have the same noise. So for example here is like lighter noise like here is darker and you just copy paste those parts. I'm gonna grab it here because in in here in this zone it's like you're, it's really light. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select this again and go up to here and now it's clean not the best but after doing this now it's like perfect and I so I also can select the B and uh, copy paste from here from this area yeah yeah, 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 something like that. There are gonna be remaining like other little errors here and there, but you can like copy those also. So right now you can see there's like a huge light space going on in here with, I mean, blank space. So what we're gonna do is select the R. Oh, also this basically we can we can do the lazy mode and select all of it i think and we won't destroy it because we are copying a huge surface which is kind of the same uh yeah it's always 
uh, there's like always room for improvements but right now i just showed you how it should be in the bigger picture so if you want to do it more detailed then you could copy paste like all the letters separately with this and uh, clean it out but right now you know we we, we want to concentrate on the mock-up so every anyways like if you want to download like free stock images some of those gonna have some scripts some prints going on on the mug or on the t-shirt or whatever and you're gonna need to remove it or recreate it so basically this is an important step anyways so now what we're gonna do is position the logo i'm gonna copy paste the logo control a control c control v okay i'm gonna press ctrl t uh so you can uh, basically scale the logo down or up i'm gonna press shift plus alt at the same time and hold it so i scale it down uh on this proportion should be good and from here i'm gonna press so now it's positioned now it's positioned here and now we want to distort it because this is a uh, you know we need to bend it basically because it's like circular you know and uh what which tool does this is this thing right here you know the switch between free transform and warp mode so we're gonna do the warp thing right uh this what it does is basically acts as the pen tool in adobe illustrator you drag these handles up and down but be really gentle with these because you're gonna destroy and dis uh, distort and destroy the logo uh you just need to bend these things not left or right or you know you can't here in this situation you, know, you don't uh, drag it left or uh, right you just drag it up or down you know uh because we are bending it uh, only upwards or downwards so we make this curvature thing with the logo um yeah so i'm gonna bring it somewhere around here until until it's uh gonna be as curvy as uh this thing so we need to mimic this curvature and put it in the logo as you can see the a got shrinked down but we're gonna correct that a little bit later and here you can see the dim dimension is really short and this is like really long and straight and this is curvy so this is what we need to recreate uh and yeah it should be easy it shouldn't be complicated and right now the e is too big i mean the t e r it's kind of big so this got distorted pretty interestingly so this is what the distortion tool does in here in photoshop what well, what i gotta do is click in the center and just drag this down until this part is going to be curvy and it's going to look good basically okay okay i think we got it um yeah press enter um, from here we're going to double click on the layer with the logo and uh we have this uh handle thing and you can play around with these but we're gonna play around with this one the underlying layer this is the dark place as you can see if you drag it uh these areas are like more in shadow and this area is uh, has this uh, light stuff going on and uh, basically it's burning out the shadow area so we're gonna press and hold alt and click on this little arrow thing so it uh, splits into uh, pieces and we're gonna drag this handle somewhere around here uh, you can play around uh, in your case with your logo differently uh, yeah so this area is in, in shadows this is highlighted uh, I think it should be something like this and I also want to add some um, some blur because this area is blurred out and this area is blurred out and this is like you know really sharp i gotta add some filter but i'm thinking um, hmm. basically i need to create a new layer but the new layer go is going to um, do something different with this stuff so what i want to do is 
create a new layer and merge these together eventually. Nah, won't happen. That won't, that won't be real. But anyways, I was thinking like add a little bit of blur, Gaussian blur and click OK. And now it looks even more realistic. So yeah, this is kind of it. I uh, hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, maybe I'm going to do it like differently. It even better. But right now, this was the idea. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button. And have a great day. Bye-bye.